Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am CNW1015 and welcome to another history video that nobody asked for. In today's video we are going to be talking about the history of another Chicago Northwestern locomotive. However, this time we are going to be talking about Chicago Northwestern number 1385. So we're just going to jump right into the video. Chicago Northwestern 1385 was built by the American Locomotive Company in 1907. The locomotive will be designated as an R1 class 46010 wheeler. The 1385 weighs in at 120 tons, has a tractive effort of 30,900 30, pounds, 21 by 26 inch cylinders, and a maximum boiler pressure of 200 psi. When the 1385 was built, the R1 class were the largest locomotives on the Chicago Northwestern at the time. The R1s would be used in mainline freight service and on some passenger trains. However, with the advent of new Pacific and Hudson-type locomotives on the Northwestern system, the 1385 and other R1s would be redesignated to branch line trains. The 1385 would operate to the very bitter end of steam on the Northwestern when the entire fleet would be completely dieselized. The 1385 would then go into storage and face a rather uncertain future. In 1961, the 1385 would be bought by a very young Mid-Continent Railway Museum for $2,600 scrap value. The 1385 would then begin operating at the Mid-Continental Railway Museum in North Ridden, Wisconsin and starting in 1963. The locomotive would also receive its first major overhaul at the Mid-Continent Railway Museum in the 1970s. In 1981, the Chicago Northwestern Railway would approach the Mid-Continent Railway Museum about operating the 1385 on Chicago Northwestern trackage as a public relations tool. So, by 1982, the 1385 would pull its first excursion on the Chicago Northwestern. The train would be dubbed the Prosperity Special, and the 1385 would pull several modern pieces of rolling stock, as well as two business cars and a GP50 for support as well. After the Prosperity Special had ended, the Chicago Northwestern had managed to turn a small profit by giving short excursion trains, and thousands of people had come trackside to see the 1385, as for, the, for many it was the first time they'd seen a steam engine for the, at all or in many years. At that, point, the, at that point, the Chicago Northwestern decided to continue the excursion system, and for the next six years, the 1385 would travel all over the Northwest system pulling excursion trains with some notable trips being the Puffer, the Puffer Billy Days in 1982, the Butler 400 in 1983, and the Great Circus Train in 1985, 86, and 1987. The ex However, by 1987, the excursions were becoming financially strenuous for the Chicago Northwestern, and eventually, by the end of 1986, the steam program had been swiftly ended. After her time on the Chicago Northwestern had ended, the 1385 would only operate on mid, a mid-continent railway museum trackage and, on, and some excursions on the Wisconsin Central and the Wisconsin and Southern in 1992. The 1385 would continue to operate through the 1990s, but by 1998, the 1385's flu time expiration date was approaching fast. And the 1385 would last, would last operate under her own power on July 1st, 1998. After the locomotive, after the engine had been stored, boiler work was expected to start soon. However, inspections on the engine would reveal that more problems needed to be addressed. And later in the early 2000s, the 1385 would be would sit in a state of limbo about throughout the next decade. In 2011, the Mid-Continent Railway Museum had received a large grant topping nearly $250,000, which would allow them to have major work completed on the 1385, and parts of the engine, including the frame and parts of the boiler, I believe would be moved to a machine shop in central Wisconsin. The locomotive would receive a brand new boiler in 2019, along with major running gear work. As of the current making of this video, 1385's restoration is still ongoing, and it's also, as far as I'm aware, the restoration is coming very close to being complete, 
and hopefully we expect to see the 1385 operating at the Mid-Continent Railway Museum in the next several, in the next few years, I would hope. It's, it's an engine I would like to rail fan, so, so I hope it does get done soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. This is CNW1015 signing off. Have a wonderful rest of your day.